Hi everyone and welcome. You know what? Just give, just give me this. Just give me this. This is the RWA wrap up show for Spring Fling 2015. I am your one and only award winning media inducing wrestling reverend church, and that lump is Doc. Wave high. No, okay. Tonight we have had one hell of an event here at RWA Spring Fling. First off, we have new tag team champions here in RWA Generation Dead losing the titles to the Forbidden Warriors. What a match, what a contest, and it was just amazing, Doc. Forbidden Warriors, with the help of wise guy Jimmy Cicero, defeating Generation Dead, again, with the help of wise guy Jimmy Cicero. You can say it was help, you can say anything you want to, but at the end of the night, the referee made the decision to make it a no disqualification match Jimmy Cicero gets involved. Hey, you know, it is what it is. It happens. New tag team champions here in RWA. Speaking of champions, Jesse Bell Smothers retaining her RWA heavyweight championship, women's heavyweight championship. The fact of the matter is she didn't have an opponent here tonight originally because Mickey Knuckles, who was in a match last month here in RWA, decided that she was going to retire after taking a beating from Nick Esteban Taylor, in my opinion. Shush your mouth, Doc. In my opinion, and that's what happened. Regardless, Jesse Bell Smothers not prepared for an opponent here tonight. Who did she get, Doc? She ended up, you know what? Go ahead. Because God forbid I say anything, anything at all that would, you know, make your friends look bad. Anything. But anyways, there was suitable competition found for Jesse Bell Smothers. And what happened? Of course, the Bad Boys Club screwing them over one more time. Like always. The Bad Boys Club was outside at ringside with Jesse Bell, of course, because, you know, these people here would probably attack Jesse Bell if they were given the chance to. So they were out here to protect her. Next, we have Shane Andrews, who fought one hell of a contest here tonight. He got whipped by fans outside the ring. But at the end of it all, I will tip my hat off Sanjay Dutt by hook or by crook beat Shane Andrews here tonight and that has guaranteed him a shot next month for the RWA Cruiserweight Championship. That's right, a rematch. Sanjay Dutt versus Shane Andrews for the Cruiserweight Championship and I cannot wait to see the repercussions that Andrews is going to pay for screwing over Dutt. And speaking of repercussions, we also had Nick Esteban Taylor, my buddy, not yours, taking one-on-one -on -one against the general of the DKA Nation, Zuboff, in what could only be described as the rule breakers match of matches. You had eye gouges and, and choke holds and everything else at the end of the night. Regardless of the amount of experience the general had, he fell to the Wrecky Life door. Exactly. Taylor played him like a fiddle and won the match. I, I get it. My, hat's, my hat actually goes off to Nicholas Esteban Taylor tonight. Mark it in your history books. There you go. Finally, last but not least, we had the RWA Heavyweight Championship defended here tonight. Wise guy Jimmy Cicero, one-on-one -on -one against Chris Taylor in what can be described as just an all-out brawl between the two of them. At the end of it all, wise guy Jimmy Cicero, some will say that he had a little bit of help, but at the end of it all, wise guy Jimmy Cicero, victorious against the party animal, as I like to call him, Chris Taylor. Now, what happened after the match, Doc, uh, you might want to comment on this because you were a little bit closer to what happened than I did. Chris Taylor injured at the hands of Jimmy Cicero and, of course, the Menfo Mofo. Uh, Jimmy Cicero stated earlier in the event that he always had tricks up his sleeve. Little did we know he had the new RWA Tag Team Champions, the Forbidden Warriors, and the Menfo Mofo coming out and helping them retain the title. But not only that, they couldn't just leave it alone. No, they injured my friend, Chris Taylor, and uh, Chris could barely move. Chris could, wasn't talking, he wasn't moving, and he was helped out of here. He's uh, on his way to the hospital as we speak right now. And uh, I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> I'm out of here. All right, well, as Doc walks off, uh, check back on the RWA website to find out any details that we find out as far as Chris Taylor's condition goes. Um, next month, we have one hell of uh, an event already set up with just Shane Andrews versus Sanjay Dutt 
for the RWA Cruiserweight Championship. If you want to see tonight's event or any other of the RWA events, go online, go to pittsburghwrestling.com. Of course, you can go to twitter.com slash ringrevchurch, follow me on Twitter, and get all the scoops that I can provide you, as well as any RWA news. This has been your one and only award-winning, media-inducing Wrestling Reverend Church. This has been RWA Spring Fling 2015, and I am out of here.